today we are making some baked chicken and couscous salad i would recommend doing some prep work the previous night one is to marinate your chicken so the flavors will sink in and the other one is to soak the dried chickpeas and you can pressure cook it the next day just before you're making your salad if you press for time at least make sure to marinate the chicken for 40 minutes before you begin on the day of cooking next week we're going to make a second marinade for the chicken so it doesn't turn dry so for that we are going to use some olive oil lime juice and some store-bought uh, tikka paste so there is some spice in the chicken which gives some flavor so that's why we're going to use that too feel free to use any curry paste you have left over inside your fridge or you have any marinade that you want to just use up before the date or something like that and you think that gives a nice flavor to the chicken feel free to go and just you know take it and use it up we're not using too much I have applied a little bit of olive oil on the tray. Other than that, I'll be uh, putting the marinade with the spoon and then spreading it with the brush. This way I can have control on the amount of oil that goes into each piece. So now our 40 minutes time limit is starting. So let's start doing the next prep work. While the chicken is baking in the oven, let's take care of the chickpeas. Let's pressure cook it uh, for 10 minutes in manual mode in the instant pot. It's going to take a few minutes to come to pressure and then the cooking time starts and after that um, it'll take a few minutes for the natural pressure release. So everything together is going to take some time. So let's start with the couscous now. I'm using the instant variety which doesn't need any stove top cooking just a little bit of uh, boiled water on top sit well and let it stand for 20 minutes covered and once it's done simply use your fork to fluff it up and there should not be any water in the couscous Let me show you the water level inside the couscous pot. It's slightly above the couscous, that's all. And once all the water is absorbed, you can see how it looks before I fluff it. Uh, so you will get a view of what's happening inside. While the couscous is resting and getting ready, let's have a look at the chicken. Um, let's just take out the tray and Turn it once, apply a little bit of the marinade and put it back into the oven. After the 20 minutes of resting time is done, let's check upon the couscous by running a fork and making sure there is no moisture or water content underneath and each grain should separate. Let's make a vinaigrette to pour on top of the salad and let us cut the vegetables into small bite sized pieces. Uh, in between let's check upon the chickpeas that has been pressure cooking. It should have come to the right temperature to open without pressure. If you're not going to use the entire chickpeas in the couscous salad, you can always drain the liquid and refrigerate in an airtight container once it's cooled. 
This might have seemed like a really lengthy video to you, but I promise you it is not that hard if you are uh, managing your time properly and by uh, following these steps in the same order that I have done. It's very, very easy to get ready with a nice dinner uh, in really 40 minutes it won't take any more than that uh, just don't fuss around too much with uh, most things and you are good to go Add the warm chickpeas into the vinaigrette so it absorbs all the flavors and it stays moist in the salad. I'm adding a little bit of um, pickled jalapenos so there is a little bit of acidity and heat also. Once the salad is mixed well, uh, let's refrigerate it for a few minutes. And uh, I wanted to tell you something about the chicken too. If there is a lot of water oozing out from the chicken while baking, uh, simply discard most of it and let a little bit remain on the tray. Uh, this helps the chicken to stay moist. And once the 40 minutes is done, switch off the oven and the chicken is ready to be served. If you have left your chicken, you can store it in an airtight container once it's cooled down and refrigerated. Let me just show you the close-up of the chicken to see how juicy and moist and nice and tender it looks. I'm going to serve it right now. 
so there you go guys our 40 minutes meal is ready i hope you love it and do get back to me with your comments thank you